Hello, my name is Vittorio Sartorelli from the Laboratory of Muscle Stem Cell and Gene Regulation from NIOMS National Institutes of Health. Today I would like to discuss with you the finding of our 2008 developmental cell paper which has been selected among other papers to celebrate the 10th anniversary of developmental cells. Organisms sense and react to nutrients available in the immediate surrounding However, the molecules and the mechanism mediating such a response remain elusive. In our paper, we have asked how nutrients availability influence maturation, that is, differentiation of skeletal muscle cells. The main finding of our work relate to the discovery of a pathway linking and integrating pathways that are important for the energy status and for cell differentiation. This pathway involves sensing and modifying the stoichiometry of two molecules central to cellular metabolism, that is ATP and NAD. The sensor and modifiers that we have identified are the protein AMPK, NAMPT, and 31. Marcella Fulco, the first author of the paper, will now describe in more detail our findings. Hello, my name is Marcella Fulco. We started this project as a follow-up of our previous uh, finding that CERT1, a NAD-dependent deacetylase, was a negative regulator of muscle differentiation. It was very well known that CERT1 could be activated by calorie restriction in yeast cells, However, CO2 activation by energy deprivation in higher eukaryotic cells was still starting to be unveiled. On our side, we were really curious to find out whether CO2 in muscle cells could sense changes in glucose levels and translate those changes into a cellular adaptive response that in the model that we were using was represented by the block of muscle differentiation. Indeed, we found that muscle cells exposed to low glucose levels could not complete their differentiation program, while when CERT1 levels were reduced by RNA interference, these cells were able to differentiate. This initial finding confirmed our hypothesis that the differentiation program could be regulated by energy availability through CERT1 activation. We then used this model to identify the pathways that were activated upstream CERT1, and we found that the AMP-activated kinase, AMPK, was activated by glucose restriction in muscle cells, and more importantly, that AMPK activation was required to activate CERT1. AMPK could control CERT1 activity by inducing the transcription and the activity of NAMPT, the rate limiting enzyme in the NAD savage pathway. NAMPT converts nicotinamide, the hydrolysis product of NAD, into NMN, that is then converted into NAD. NAMPT has been suggested to activate CERT1 by both reducing the levels of nicotinamide, that is also a non competitive inhibitor of CERT1, and by increasing the levels of NAD the essential cofactor for CERT1 reaction. Consistently, in response to glucose restriction, nicotinamide levels were reduced while the NAD and ADH ratio was increased, and these changes were responsible for CERT1 activation and its inhibitory effects on myoblast differentiation. Overall, the experiments that we have conducted have revealed the presence of a sensing and decoding pathway that allow skeletal muscle cells to modulate high energy demanding processes such as differentiation in response to nutrient availability. Importantly, subsequent experiments have conferred the functional significance and importance of the IMPK, NAMPT and 31 pathway in, regu in regulating also other processes such as mitochondrial gene expression and oxygen consumption. Thus, the pathway that we have identified serves as both a reader and an effector of both cellular differentiation and metabolic control.